ladies and germs, it is Joker here, and welcome back to another episode on my Minecraft world. And today we are starting off at the chicken farm. And just to show you that I have actually revised the redstone. I've had to drop this a block because we want if anything is in the dispenser to fire, not if it's in the hopper. Otherwise we'll have a backlog of uh, eggs in the dispenser that will never actually get fired. Um... And then I've had to run the redstone to here and place a repeater just here. This is because if you have the repeater one block up, it actually um, locks this hopper because uh, the power gets transferred into this. And it's like just a standard block. Like if I put a block there, it would still transmit the signal around. Anyway, that's not what we're doing today. Today I am going to be sorting out a skeleton farm, so we have infinite amount of XP. Aha, here. And you, you see the cobblestone. I do. There is the skeleton spawner. Now I don't want to get too close because they'll start spawning, like I said. Right. Okay, let's break in there and see what we can see. Oh dear, this should be fun. Oh, let's just down a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's call that good because that way we'll get stone. <laughs> there and oh, sugar! I did not want to be at eye height of you. That's better. Because you lot can't shoot me now, you see. But I also can't place a torch down anywhere. Very good. I wanted to place it there. Ah! Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, there's a lot. Uh, function. Ality. Not working. Oh, I'm gonna die. I actually might die. Ow! Ow! Whew! That was a close one. Right, um... Well, hang on, let me place a block there with a the torch on it, then I want there, and place that one! Yes! Or should I just place it on all? Yeah, let's do that. I can just things. Get rid of that. And what do we get? Ooh, redstone, bones, we need plenty of those, and a music disc. Uh, wheat and bread, good but not great. Fire protection, two book, wow. Right, what's in the other one? Oh, I'm happy and I'm really sad. I was hoping there was going to be a. Um, Whatchamacallit. Get rid of because I do actually want wheat and I want that bucket. I'll say for the bucket again. No, I'm actually gimme. I can actually, I should be able to make a new bow now. Hoping. Oh no. Um. Saddles though. Ah, oh, saddles, and you can't exactly make saddles. Bit of a pain. Um. I want to think if there is... Technically there is one. Oh, and I need slime balls. Oh, I'm going to have to go for a mission. Okay, you lot are going to... Skeleton's black. That's me. Okay. Uh, I need to go get some slime balls. I didn't think about this before. Uh, I will see you... Uh, very shortly once I have some slime balls. So, ladies and germs, I am at the spawner. I have my donkey just outside. Donkey, donkey, there you are. Hello. And then all my supplies I will need for later on anyway. 
and we will get to that shortly but first i need to actually prepare this area the mob spawn out or at least the area they're going to spawn in so i am going to get on with that and i'm going to do it in a third person time lapse uh you guys let me know in the comments how this goes uh mainly because this will be the first time me in this type of um well general just thing <laughs> let's just say that so anyway off we go okay so for this time lapse chat there are three things that i would like to discuss first of all can you please comment and let me know how these episodes are going because uh, the time lapse you are watching is currently recorded on my phone by using my same account on the same internet network. Uh, you guys can also do this and I am having to do some very um, strange stuff with blocks to make sure that I don't get killed by phantoms. Uh, second is these episodes in general. Um, there will be five of them. So this is the second, three, four, and five will follow on daily for the first five days. So, and then what my plan is, is so that I will then leave it a week after the fifth episode to release number six. So I've got time to answer all your comments and for you to tell me how you think these series is going so far. What could be improved? Is it video? Is it audio? Things like that. And finally, is the current spawner that we are making. Now, things changed on Bedrock with spawners. The shapes changed and the area that you've got to be in has changed. So if you guys want a full in-depth in tutorial on how to set up a mob farm using the spawners, uh, I'm quite happy to do that. Leave me a message in the comments and I will get that done as soon as possible. And then I'll also show you different variations. So like if you wanted a zombie mob farm where it will turn them into drowns and then bring them down to half a heart, I can do that quite easily. Anyway, I'll see you in the real world. Okay, ladies and germs, as you can see, the cave isn't, well, I say the killing area, isn't exactly finished, but you get the concept of what I'm trying to do here. But um, now I think it's time for some redstone. So first thing we need to do is figure out where we want the button to kill them. And I'm going to pop mine just there. And let me just grab some stone brick. And that should have been there. I'm going to need one there. Pass me stick piston number one. And I know. Okay, so sticky piston number one is in. That is the one that will be suffocating them. Bring that back down. Bring that up. I'll put the half slab in there afterwards. Right, so we need a repeater coming. Oh, hang on. Oh, we don't. If I put a redstone dust there. Is that going to affect piston? Find out. Oh, awesome. So now I need. Yeah. Do you Darby watch it thingies? Oh, do you know what I haven't got? The hoppers. I have got enough to make them. Really didn't have to make them. Oh well. Uh Peters would be nice. <laughs> okay. Might be able to this dust piston oh brilliant machine one so that bit that's there 
into a sword. Into a sword. Oh. Oh, it's okay, because he's got to go on top of the roof. Anyway. And my droppers. And let's just... All right. Now I'm going to block there. Okay, block there. Yeah, I know, this is getting very tight. Need a comparator on top of that stone there. Perfect. And one there. Make the hoppers. Like I said, I really should have done beforehand. So we got one. Two. Mm. I do apologize if you can hear my controller. I am Time lapse at my first day. Not in R can do it. Fortunately, I wish I could. <laughs> that has to go into a solid block going up. Right through there. Reapers. Okay. Where are any torches? Need the torchy torchy torchy. Alright. And a torch. This hopper needs to be. Broken and place facing it. that one just there. But we are almost done. Uh, the only thing left to do is to put the observers in, they must be pressed. Yep, and yeah, have one. Okay, that's the wrong way. That. Don't do it on top. So now when this comparator gets a signal, it will reset everything. Yeah, I think so. I hope so, because I ain't read again. Look. Uh, hey. Oh no, that is actually going to a oops. Upper block. And I play. Oh, did not make this room big enough. I should make that my saying. The amount of times I actually build things on this in Minecraft and then realise, oh, actually, that's too big. Nice. Right, now I need uh, 22 blocks that aren't going accidentally get stuck in the I don't really want to use coal well well right that should have fired while activated which is right that is activated due to knows there are items in it here
Hold on, have I actually just put this together the wrong way around? Do that block which is that's the hopper. Oh, I've taken it out the wrong end. Okay, no matter. I'm just gonna get work. Okay then, ladies and germs. I do believe the system is now fixed, and the problem was I was putting this observer the wrong way in the system, but it is now all working, and I have also put in a special measure so that I can turn mobs on and off and allow them to use the system. But I do have one more job left to do, and that is put a sign here with water there so one sign coming up okay so There, which will reset their full damage if they've been bouncing around in the water or anything. Um, and of course, if they fall from that height anyway, it won't matter. Two block drop, even is it? That's three block drop. Right. Uh, give me some type of block. I will happily take those blocks. I will get upstairs and pandangle some stuff to close the roof off. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle is that stone block there. As you can see, I put the roof on it. So now, if I break this and jump like a madman, that should have then started the spawning. So if we quickly run down here come on ow yes we have skellies lovely right let's close that off for a minute and let's see if this works you'll be down to half a heart Right, so I'm now going to sit here and farm like a mad person uh, so I can get some levels. I'm going to go back to the base, go grab my enchanting setup, and I will stick my enchanting setup somewhere in here. I think I might even put it over here. And I'll finish this room off, hopefully, at some point. Right, so. Hey, skillies. And I can't see me at all. And I have checked as well that the spawner is on. Also, just to let you know that I will be releasing a video about the uh, how you make uh, the spawn and the easiest way of making these types of spawners and the redstone behind it as well. So, I do believe that's all the time I have for today. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe. I've been Joker, and I'll see you in a mini money mo. Not for now.